goddess queen just me 23 and this is going to be a divine feminine reading for the overall collective make sure you like subscribe comment as well as share hit that notification bell select all so you're notified when i do post on this channel make sure you check out the about me of my channel to, to get important information as well as the description box make sure you check out the playlist to get caught up on any series that i do here at goddess queen just me 23 and then also the community section to get important announcements as well as news um the song that's on right now is week by swv playing in the background so let's see what's going on for the overall collective um for this divine feminine reading so divine feminine reading for the overall collective divine feminine reading what in information do you want to give the divine feminine collectives um what divine feminine reading for the overall collective divine feminine reading for the overall collective So we have free will. So divine feminine, you could be using your free will right now. Um, there could be a decision that you're needing to make, okay, as far as when it comes to using your free will, okay? Um, there could also be, I'm hearing somebody could be getting ready to get penalized for their free will so let's just say i don't know if this is you divine feminine or if this is somebody that's around you but right now you do have free will that you have to take advantage of is what i'm hearing it says create create and express so you have your free will to create and express what it is that you want so you could be using like making a decision to create something like an idea a, a project like let's say if this is a, a passion they're wanting you to express yourself okay some people could be judging you for the decisions that you're making at this time divine feminine is what i'm getting what else we have so divine feminine reading for the overall collective divine feminine you could be expressing yourself through music if you are an artist even if you're not an artist music could be significant to you right now okay serenity okay so you got serenity here i think that's what that says se let me just make sure let me get the book because it's kind of hard to read the letters Excuse me, it's ser 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 serendipity. It's serendipity. I, I read that wrong. Okay, serendipity. It says your gods and angels are speaking to you through a uh, serendipitous event. You've been shouting prayers out to the universe consciously or subconsciously, and the universe is responding by creating situations that seem like... Uh, Okay, so what I'm hearing right now, this goes back to your free will. Your ancestors and your guides have been speaking directly to you to do something. And other people are trying to shift your judgment or trying to judge you for whatever it is that your ancestors is telling you to do. So this is just like I was saying you are the only one that are talking to your ancestors nobody else don't allow anybody to put any fear on you is what i'm hearing don't allow anybody to put any fear on you uh, okay so it may seem like a coincidence it says make no mistakes mama this experience are divinely orchestrated just for you say what 
and it says you may see repeating numbers end up someplace at just the right time overhearing a conversation a song our TV show that holds a message you have been needing to receive and so on. Uh, brace the experiences as moments of the divine intervention. And I ain't going to say the B word and be new beginnings from beyond to help you know which part to take. Okay. These magical moments are external validations of your own intuitive senses the more that you notice and recognize and honor these events, the more synchronicities you will be able to manifest to help you move for, uh, move further along your path with ease, okay? So again, whatever it is that you're getting that your ancestors is sending you, it's only for you. Do not allow other people's opinions to sway you from what your ancestors and your higher self and your guides is telling you to do you were put in the position for you to only do this you can only talk to your ancestors and the gods that's around you you know when you are in a good situation and when you need to trust the situation again other people are going to try to put projections on you don't let those people's projections distract you from your path okay let me go to this free will. I just want to go to the free will one and see what it says. It says taking personal responsibility is hard. It would be pretty freaking cool if the angels could simply push you. And that's what I feel like for me, the angels and my guys are pushing me to do something that everybody else is scared to do. Okay, so this is definitely giving me a message and I know it's giving other divine feminines messages as well. Okay, um, where else am I? Okay, lovingly, of course, down the proper path. However, exercise your free will is an impetitive part of co-creating a life uh, you love with spirit. In every moment a human of human life, were predetermined there would be no learning or growth to experience here on mother earth and that would be so boring from where you stand right now there are infinity paths to choose no matter which you choose you can always find a way to your destiny and divine purpose by receiving these cards you by receiving this card you are being asked by your angels and your guides to tune into yourself and make a choice from the infinity possibilities before you. Look at the potential around you and use your free will to choose what you, I ain't going to say the B word, you know is true, will bring you the greatest happiness and fulfillment. You will. You have full permission to embrace what you want most right now so that spirit can help you make it reality okay an affirmation it says i trust myself to use my free will and the agencies to align myself with my highest and greatest good i am grateful for i ain't gonna say the new the, the b word but new beginnings to co-create a life i love with spirit and if y'all wonder what b word i'm saying the be less and the be lie i don't say those words okay and then let's see where it says create and express. Let me see. So it says creativity is virtual. So nourishing act that we crave without even knowing it. It is radical form of self-care. Our construction, constructed society supports impossible permitters Permitters, I know I'm saying that wrong. Permitters, parameters, excuse me, parameters that make us, I ain't gonna say the B word, know that being expressive and creative has to look a certain way. Bull. Creativity is about making mistakes and trying new things and seeing something through a different lens. Your spirit requires creative outlets and forms of expression for its very survival. If you feel like a talentless hack, 
it means that you simply haven't found your medium or your inspiration and there is no harm at all in continuing the journey to discovering both you are allowed to be to not be perfect at something and still find joy in it by giving yourself permission to dabble and explore new things you may be pleasantly surprised by what you learn about yourself the message here set time aside to create and express of your spiritual mental and emotional well-being affirmation it says i am a positive creator force in this world i have power to create things never before never before seen on earth that only i can uniquely provide i give myself permission to claim and act upon this now so again don't let nobody stop you from your creativity you are unique a being to create other things and do and explore other things that other people can't do okay and if they can do it they're not doing it like you y'all are both it's some part of the whatever it is that you're doing that is different that sets you different from the other person okay so that's a great message serpidipity serpidipity so let's see what else is going on with divine feminine at this point so let's see let's get this deck so we got divine feminine reading for the overall collective 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 so you could be getting outside of your normal comfort zone nothing wrong with it okay so it says trying to make you feel mediocre so some people have been too busy divine feminine trying to make it seem like you are mediocre somebody wants revenge on you and it says somebody could be bi curious or you could be bi curious or this individual that was bi curious was making you seem like you were men mediocre whatever this person was saying and what was doing it caused them to be in this envy and jealousy energy where they want revenge so whatever they tried to set to happen to you did not happen in this person's favor here comes the haters so like i told you you have a lot of haters that want revenge on you this could be a bi curious man or bi curious woman okay what else divine feminine reading for the overall collective and it says a cuss sign is hating so there's a cuss sign that is hating on you and it says don't trust that child so there's also a child that's involved that wants revenge child is anywhere from zero to the age 28 okay these could be bi curious individuals that were trying to make it seem like you were a mediocre individual nothing about you is mediocre it says he wants to call you so somebody wants to call you and i feel like you shouldn't trust these individuals because at the same time they've been trying to sabotage you this could be somebody that's in another city so this bi curious person this cuss signs that's hating um this child that, that they don't want you to trust could definitely be in another city than you okay um this at the bottom of the deck it says acting like he slash she don't know anything so they're pay they're in this energy where they're acting like they don't know what's been going on what they said and so on look an enemy won't stop trying you because this enemy wants revenge you are higher than this mediocre energy that they tried to set and say that you was you have a you have became successful in whatever it is that you have been doing divine feminine and you have a lot of haters haters from himalayas they in different cities and stuff it says they can't handle your energy because you're not a mediocre person so they're gonna try to hate on everything about you it says look you can't be broken they're realizing that you can't be broken you're gonna always be successful this cuss sign that's hating in this child i don't know if this child is a cuss sign or if it's two different individuals but whatever's going on they can't beat you <laughs> they can't dish you they can't destroy you and now they want revenge one more card 
divine feminine reading. So we have, it says needs to deal with their demons. So these individuals need to deal with their demons and leave you alone. Their demons is going to cause them to get eliminated or something that's going to happen to them. And it says you, your niece is involved. So your niece could be in this child energy. This niece could be by curious. Uh, again, somebody is upset that they were not able to sabotage you the way that they wanted to. You are moving on and still being successful. And these people are still trying to come in the way of stopping you in from your path. All this is going to cause is, like I said, somebody to gonna be eliminated because they full of hatred, envy, jealousy, and anger. Bad vibes. These people are full of bad vibes. And they want to talk bad on you. And they can't even talk bad on you because, again, that don't even fit your energy on the, the statements that they was making. Again, um, and they were saying about you. Okay? What else we got here? So let's see. What else cards do I want to use? Let's get some Zodiac signs and see what's going on with the Zodiac sign reading. I mean, so Zodiac signs. Okay, so what Zodiac signs is significant for this Divine Feminine reading for the overall collective? What Zodiac sign are significant for this Divine Feminine reading for the overall collective? We have Sagittarius, so there could be a Sagittarius that's involved in this. You could have be a Cancer that could be involved in this. What time is it? What other zodiac signs are significant to this? We got a Pisces slash Aries, which could be the cuss sign that could be Hayden. What other zodiac signs are significant to this overall reading for Divine Feminine? What other zodiac signs? We got an Aquarius. We have a Taurus slash Gemini. Another cuss sign energy. And what other zodiac signs are significant to this? And we have a Pisces. So these could be the signs that are significant. This could be your sign. It could be the person that's hating. It could be bi curious individuals. If you're not bi curious and you know what you like, again, that could be a sign of synchronicity. There could also be, um, uh, again, somebody wants to call you. It could be any of these signs that is a masculine that wants to call you, okay? Because I feel like somebody's been going back and forth. This card has been staying at the bottom every time I do a reading. So somebody definitely has been going back and forth when it comes to trying to make a decision. You got Scorpio and Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So any of these signs could be significant on what's going on with this situation. Um, again, you got September the 1st, September the 11th, September the 12th. You got April the 9th, April the 11th, April the 12th. December the 9th, December the 4th, December the 11th. So these could be any of the birthdays. The year 94, year 49 could be significant. Somebody could be age 49 or age 94. The year of 2011, 2012. Somebody could be have a child that's the age of 9, 4, 11, or 12, okay? Is what I'm getting from this. And let's get some initials and then we're going to end this reading for Divine Feminine. Make sure you thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. So we got a uh, Divine Feminine reading for the overall collective. It's Divine Feminine reading for the overall collective. Divine Feminine reading for the overall collective. I'm hearing the, the cuss sign is a man is what I'm hearing. You got a V or a boy. You got an A. You got a T, vet, money baby by uh, Coney Cash is playing in the background. You got a D. What other initials is significant? You got a B, bat could be significant, bad. Okay. We got a R, bar, Artar, Tara, Artera, an M, more initial. And you got a C. Oh, we got we got to keep going. You got a C, and we got a U. Drum is here. Okay. Uh, you got a K. Two other initials. You got an M. One more initial for this, and you got you got an O and a W. The W gonna be just a a a, a extra letter because. 
I don't want to do, oh, we have some more letters underneath here. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Okay, we got a V-A-T-D-Y-B-R-M-C-U-K-M-O. And let me get two more, another one more initial. I'm hearing, I'm seeing Brown here. Somebody last name could be Brown. Bro is here. Somebody brother could be involved. One more initials. MC could be significant. That's somebody that's a cuss sign that I know that's a male and an A. Okay. And he is a Taurus slash Gemini like myself. So we got Bay. We got Bree. Okay. We have May energy here spelled two different ways. M-A-Y-M-A-E. Um, we have C A E, okay. Um, we have um Rome is here, okay. What other initials that we have? Uh Drew D R U, okay. Um Mo, somebody's name could be Mo. Woe is here, okay. Uh Woo is what I'm hearing, okay. Um Somebody name could be Todd. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dre, Drea. So Dre, D R E, and then Drea, D R E A. Okay. Um, Bria. Come is here. I know there's a lot of other stuff that I'm missing here. Tad. Okay. So you got V-A-T-D-Y-B-R-M-C-U-K-M-O-W-E. These are initials for this reading. Make sure you thumbs up this video. I know I missed a lot of things here. Um, clue could be significant. There could definitely be clues as far as when it comes to this initials. I see Tom energy here. I see TC, okay, um, MC, uh, MC, uh, Mac, M-A-C, okay, um, Mac, spelled two different ways, M-A-C, M-A-C-K, okay, Rack, R-A-C-K, Wack is here too, Doc is here, our doctor could be spelled trying to spell doctor. Dot is here. MCM is what I'm hearing. Rome is here. Broom could be significant. Doom, somebody's doom. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Like, subscribe, comment, as well as share. Thank y'all for being here and you have a good rest of your day.